Now that I've recorded my video, I want to reduce the number of frames that are in the video because right now it's shooting probably at 24 or 30 frames per second. Um, so that you can picture that's basically 30 images per second per step. So that's uh, just so much data that's going to um, slow down the process when you're actually using the photogrammetry program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into uh, After Effects. Um, you can do this with Premiere Pro. I'm sure there's other programs as well too. There's even another workaround, but um, I'm going to bring it into After Effects just because it seems to uh, work the best there. So I'll bring it in, and then I'll bring it into this uh, new project thing. And After Effects isn't too complicated. I don't actually use it that much. I use Premiere Pro way more often, but this one's a bit better for changing the frame rate on images. Um, so I'll right click this. I'm going to go to pre-compose and then you can just click, you can click okay. Uh, okay, so now this is a composition and then we'll go to composition here and then we'll go to composition settings. And this is the important part. This is the only reason why we're using After Effects. It's so the frame rate right now is basically 30 frames per second. And we're going to change that to about, uh, we can try, we can try two and we'll press okay. And what we're going to see now is when we play the video. So it's fragmented into these individual frames. And you know, even this is probably a bit too much. You only really need about like 60, 60% 60 overlap, 40 to 60% is what they recommend. Um, but here's the, here's the video, here's the audio as well at the same time but uh here's here's the sort of breakdown of it once we've broken it down into uh individual stills so this is good to go now this can be uh rendered so we can put that into the render queue uh, composition file export add to render queue See, I'm still trying to figure out some of this uh, stuff as well. So, and then, okay, so here we are we're in the render queue, which is where we were before. And this is kind of just the uh, settings. So it's saying lossless, um, but it's saying the format's in AVI and we don't want that because now we want them as images, right? So you can kind of pick here. I think TIFF sequence is probably going to be the best because TIFF tends to preserve the most information. Uh, everything else is pretty good. So you can press okay there. Output, you can just specify where you want it to go. Um, put in the laneway, save it there, and then I'll click render. And so this is going to go through, it's going to be pretty quick. And there you go, it's all done. So now we can bring it into Agisoft.